Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. Um, with a lot of sadness in my heart, I uh, initially didn't want to comment on this T.G. Omori uh, kidney crisis, uh, but I must say it's an opportunity for everyone to learn. And I'm going to give you some tips that I believe may help you when it comes to identifying fake drinks. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, it is not 100% foolproof. You might still get a fake drink because we live in Nigeria where people would do anything for a profit. And when they do this for the profit, they'll believe the profit came from God. That's the saddest thing about this whole um, situation. So step one. This is not such an important step, but it also helps. If you go to a club and you see the club owner wearing a fake Rolex or fake LV or um, fake Gucci, if someone has no scruples and would buy a 1,000 pound shirt for 100 pounds, $100 to save $900, he's not going to have scruples about his drinks. So someone that wants to look like $1,000 but is only going to pay $100 for that look is also going to compromise on his drinks. Trust me. So you see someone wearing a fake uh Audemars Piguet or a fake uh Hublot or Rolex and he's a club owner or a club promoter just know that they will sell fake drinks Oshuaju. now on the flip side there are people who wear an original Rolex and still sell fake drinks but it's just something to watch out for number two when you go to visit your friends Ojulo Monto Yonu. I sabi waiting go bele for you. Look the person house. You go the person house, the person they drive uh, 2003 Corolla. Where they do begere, begere, begere as they drive them. You enter a house in children nowhere better clothes. The house looks anyhow. You can tell. You, sometimes making these estimations may be wrong, but sometimes you can actually tell. And then the person serves you a platter, two bottles of Moe champagne, uh, Moe nectar, two Hennessy's. Baba, the likelihood that those drinks will be original is very low. Someone will not be take care of in Peking, not go buy 200,000 naira drink to put for house. Then you, as you they go, the Peking, the person comes you say, ah, Baba, give me something. My children, they start school. Just know, so you just drink fake drink. Oju, Lomontoyu, Toyonu, let your eyes be a guide. Number three, go only to bars that have the refrigerators of the drinks they are selling. For instance, you know the drinks, you have to do some, you have to help yourself. Knowledge is key. My people perish for lack of knowledge. You have to do it before, you will like to drink now. Go know which company they do Guinness, which company they do NSE. We, you go begin, they do your own research. When you go to a bar and you see they have a Nigerian breweries fridge or chiller, uh -huh, just know that the likelihood that their drinks coming from Nigerian breweries or their drinks are coming from Nigerian breweries will be high. When you go to a bar to drink and they just open freezer where they pack ice, mm -mm -mm -mm, you can't be sure. Help yourself. So use your, just look the bar, look the drinks. When they give you the drink, the cover looks somehow, reject it. Another very important tip. When you are buying your drinks, go to reputable stores. ShopRite, Spa. Uh, these are where i buy my drinks from i don't really trust most other people i'm sorry when it comes to my drinks i buy them from shoprite and spa 
you know that when you get into spa or shop right the likelihood that the drink you are buying is original because they have their own shelf they have their own chiller they have their own display possibly they even have their own personalized attendance that we attend to. have you tried our drink so this is a very very important uh piece of information it's not like you cannot get fake drinks there too but the likelihood will be very very minute then another very important part of uh, this whole scenario is your contribution before i get to your contribution i beg you in the name of god stop buying anything in traffic if you must buy buy canned it is more difficult to adulterate canned drinks than it is to adulterate glass or um what is it called uh plastics plastics the pet packs they are the worst they just refill it make something that looks like the color of coke and refill it and sell it to you now in traffic i know you might not like the sound of this it is better to buy pure water than to buy bottled water and i'll explain to you why the same amount of money it takes to make fake bottle fake pure water is the same amount it takes to make original so unless the person is particularly wicked it is hard for you to make fake pure water because you to seal the water in sachets you still need a certain level of equipment bottled water on the other hand is very easy somebody throws out a bottle pick it rinse it pour another water seal it back put nylon i have a new product bottled water is something i would never buy in traffic plastic soft drinks avoid at all costs if you are thirsty in traffic get canned drinks it is harder it's not that they don't make the fake of cans eat but it is harder so you also have to have some personal discipline uh Try to eat and drink before you leave your house. If you're going somewhere, find a reputable store or pharmacy. Like, I personally don't believe you get a fake drink in MedPlus or any other reputable pharmacy. And, and with this scourge going on, I'm sure NAFDAQ is doing their job extra hard and everybody else is also watching everybody else's back just for everyone to be careful with what's going on final um thing i have to say here and this is your responsibility and i'm going to use this uh gordon's flavored premium flavored gin as an example this is an original drink i bought it from their stand in uh shop you can tell if you look at it you could tell it is original so every now and then i pour a little over ice and i pour some seven up free it goes best with seven up free um i drink coke zero too uh, but it doesn't go too well with coke zero so the best mix for this drink is a slash of uh lime some seven up free um, and some ice pour this over it and mix it yeah fine when i'm done with this what's my responsibility now dear nigerians this is the most important part of this video you must break the bottle break it forget about recycling break here's why once they you throw this in the bin they will clean it up fill it with pink looking liquid they'll get this color by the time they mix paint thinner they mix a uh, local concocted gin made out of wood which is not for human consumption then we get this color or something quite close to it it is easy to print this paper it is easy to print this front cover the hard part is making the bottle because you can see the bottle is engraved here um you can see all the logos and um all the authenticity stamps and all that top bottom everything it's harder it's not impossible but it's harder so it is your responsibility once you're done with the drink don't just throw it don't be lazy 
because this is what somebody else will refill and come and sell to you in the club and then problems fit start so look at somebody beside and this goes for your beer your malt your um fizzy drinks what do they call them um there's a name for them fizzy drinks let him ask you you know i've forgotten soda uh -huh. anything in a bottle once you're done consuming it don't save the bottle don't throw it put like five in a nylon bag throw a stone on it crush everything carry the crush one throw inside those beans do not ever ever any bottle you drink this is original by the way and like i said it goes very nice with um seven up free Ooh, very nice but once i'm done i dare not throw away the bottle because they will remix it for the next person i learned something from my mom when we're younger anytime we go to a party my mom will say give me white rice <laughs> Sometimes they don't have white rice, but because it's my mom, we go out of her way, uh, of their way to just get her white rice. So I used to ask my mom, I say, mommy, why is it that you never eat jollof rice or fried rice? My mother said, jollof rice and fried rice, they can remix. They can never remix white rice. What does this mean? You come into a party, there is no food, but there are some plates of half eaten jollof rice. They could just scrape the jollof rice together, package them neatly, put one turkey on top, come give you. That's what you call remix. You cannot remix white rice. Because the white rice is supposed to be white. And then a portion on top of it where they post to you is supposed to be stained with the oil and the stew. Maybe a little trickle by the side. But once they bring you white rice, we press and chop remain, you go know the difference. So avoid remixing. Always break the bottle of every drink you consume that is in bottled form and i'm ending here now let us pray for um our brother uh tg omori he's done amazing work for the industry and we pray that he continues um to live we pray that he has a good quality life and may nigeria not happen to us or may nigerians not happen to us either way you want to calculate it it's 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 tough that he, his own brothers and sisters sold him something that almost sent him to the great beyond so we've all got to be very careful and i say this all the time i'm a preacher of the word of god i don't preach prayer i don't preach miracles i preach love with love you don't need half the miracles you're looking for if in nigeria we had love and the owner of the club did not uh, sell fake drinks and the people that are manufacturing fake drinks decided to do something more useful with their lives we will not have our brother you see love if they avoid miracle if they reduce prayer points in the free nation i teach three things love knowledge and faith those are the most important things everything else comes prayer comes at number 11 or 12. the reason why we pray so much is because we don't love one another if we started loving one another and if we started being our brother's keeper maybe just maybe things would be a lot better so my wishes my um i wish for uh tg omori's um soonest recovery and um i do hope nobody else falls victim share the video so more people can learn and do stay blessed also remember the fact that you drank it and nothing happened to you maybe because your kidney is strong or some people High blood pressure don't begin, they show their kidney shaggy. Some people, diabetes done, they show their kidney shaggy. Some people don't get kidney infection before. The fact say you go drink that fake drink, survive. No means say the next person go drink camo, survival. Make with they use our tongue, count our teeth. I love you. Be very careful out there. It's a jungle out there. Oh. Jobless.